What's up, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com, and today I'm gonna to be doing another book review. This time I am reviewing a book that I listened to the audio version of called Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. Now, I got this book recommendation from Tim Ferriss's book, uh, Tools of the Titans, so that uh, I think he interviewed her in there and she, or so, no, he didn't interview her, he interviewed someone who had recommended that book, or he actually, he might have said that that book helped him when he was struggling with writing. Uh, and the, the book is, of course, Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. And this book is really a book about writing. And the, Anne Lamott is a writer who has a writing class and she talks about writing and, and how she presents writing to some of her students. And the, but, the, but the book is so much more than that because I realized that it's really all the creative endeavors, right? And if you do write, right, which I do write, I've written, I've actually have a new book coming out. It might be out by the time that you listen to this, which is called The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. You can sign up here to get free chapters of the book, actually, if you're interested, and to find out when it launches. But anyway, I found that just, I mean, everything that I do with Simple Programmer now is a creative process, and there's a lot that applies to, to that, whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, whether you're making videos, or you're doing talks, or whatever, you know, content, if you're a creator of content of any any kind, you're gonna run into these same struggles, right? And, and this book actually helped me a lot because you know, especially doing these YouTube videos, I'll be honest with you, a lot of times I get stuck in this place where I feel like I don't have the creativity, like I, I'm going through a dry spell, we're almost like writer's block doing videos, and, and that happens, and that's, that's what happens with authors as well. And she gives some tips, she talks about pushing through it, she talks about, you know, just like making sure that you're coming from uh, your kind of core beliefs. I've been actually seeing that theme a lot with a lot of the books that I've been reading lately is this uh, with, uh, you know, the power of why and or start with why. And another book that I'm listening to called Your One Word by Evan Carmichael. I'll do a review on that. But really about coming from this, you know, what, what is it? What are you about? And, and that's that's a key. In fact, you know, if you look at the shirt that I'm wearing here, this trust the process, this is one of the things that I'm about, that Simple Programmer is about, is this idea of not focusing on the results, is is that, you know, you, you, you figure out what the process is, and if you're willing to grind, if you're willing to work it out, if you're willing to keep on going, you're eventually gonna get there. You're eventually gonna, you just gotta trust the process. You can't always be looking at the results. So that helps a lot with writing, because writing, you know, is just, you, you gotta trust the process. You honestly have to, be able to just keep on going, even though a lot of what you're writing sucks. I mean, the same thing with creating videos, like any any kind of creative content, I, I tell you that, that you put out, anything that you create, it, it's gonna suck. Like you're, you're gonna feel like it sucks, even when it doesn't suck. And you're not gonna be inspired at times. You're gonna feel like you've lost it. You've lost your creativity. I mean, I've gone through this. I go through this all the time. And you know, I, I sincerely hope that I'm still improving, but I don't know. And it goes through phases, I notice. You know, sometimes I'm on fire and I'm making like awesome videos and I'm writing awesome blog posts. And sometimes the content that I'm producing really is, is not that good. It's at least in my opinion, it, it, it's not my best stuff, but you gotta keep on working through it because if you give up and you, you don't keep on going, you're not going to improve. You're not going to reach that. And you gotta realize that there are, that that's a natural pattern and that you, you just have to accept that that natural pattern does exist. So that's, uh, it's interesting, you know, just to think about that and to hear her thoughts on it. And she's got, you know, obviously she's a really good writer and she's got, a lot of really good good points on that. So I recommend the book, even if you're not writing. If you're writing, definitely read this book, but just if you're creating anything, and you know, most of us are. I, I did a video, I think a while back, called the 70-30 rule that you should check out if, you, if you're not creating a lot of stuff. And basically you should, uh, you should be spending 70% of what you do creating stuff and 30% consuming. You should try to move from a producer to a consumer role and that's, that's gonna be a better place to be, right? It's, it's not that you don't ever consume things, it's just that you wanna be a 70-30. You don't wanna be the couch potato just absorbing, just absorb, a lot of people read, 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 they get all this, they watch videos, they do all, they get all this information, but they don't produce anything, they don't ever create. And so you gotta be a creator. So check out the book, Bird by Bird, you can check out here. I like I said, did the Audible version of it. I listen to a lot of my books on Audible. By the way, if you wanna check out all the book reviews that I've done, make sure you check out the playlist here. And if you wanna get more of these videos, if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button below, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.